Um, this is this is a uh, this is a five star review of a product called Shredneck Dreadneck Natural Guitar. <laughs> Kyle, do you, can you see that? It's just a it's just a fretboard with tuners. There's yeah. no actual body to the guitar. It's, it's the neck of a it's guitar. It's just the neck. Um, five stars. Perfect if only you had ha- uh, perfect if you only need half a guitar. <laughs> A buddy of mine really needed about one third of a guitar, so this was the perfect gift. He loves it. Sounds terrible, basically useless. Would buy again. P.S. Would give six stars for rad name. Uh, um, uh, This is... um, I died. This is Summer Infant Secure. Oh, it sucks. This is, a, this is a good time to switch over, though. Yeah, it this is. This is a, a kid's playpen called Summer Infant Secure Surround Play Safe Yard Pen Tan. Uh, four stars. Will do in a pinch. Was looking for a maximum security child cage, but if you don't mind fashioning your own lid slash soundproofing it, it's basically <laughs> perfect. Minus one star for what I had to do myself. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I gotta learn how to get my health back in hi- Virtual Highlight for when I reload this. Or maybe I'm just now. I'm so bummed I died like right after I got my sick ass like, new sword. Um, um, spooky, spooky attic guys. If you want to give Spooky Attic a shout out before he slash she uh, leaves the stream for I'm not sure the night or forever. Um, uh, spooky Attic was up for like 24 hours, like four hours yeah. ago. Um, they also just dropped a link from the Rift Tracks, Void Burger, and Bob. Nice, uh, great. Silent Hill thing oh, as a it. shout out to Bob. Um, uh, spooky Attic donated a lot of money. I think upwards of thirty dollars in all. Spooky, you're, wow. the, you're the coolest. Thank dude. you, Spooky. What's your name on uh, on Twitter? It's uh, Barton Fink. It's at Barton Fink. Damn. Yeah. Uh, also, Bio Five Five One has another something Fuck to yes. give out once we have another $10 donation or another cumulative $10 donation to bump the I'm raising total up to $480. Guys, I'll be I'm back, sleepy. guys. I need to listen to the new song by Swans. Okay. okay please. I've got, so I'll, I'll be back. I've got two more reviews. That was the most so John Davies just... exit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, guys. I have to go listen to a song from a band that you've never heard of. Uh-huh. Um, BBL. <laughs> This will take like eight minutes, probably. <laughs> this is okay, Kyle. This is a product called Korean Cosmetics Too Cool for School Egg Mousse Pack, 100 millimeters soft whipped massage warm up pack. Um, so it's an egg based something makeup. <clears throat> Three stars. Not real eggs. Not for food. Tastes fine, but apparently it's makeup. Um. <laughs> Used to be my favorite quick egg snack, but I'll have to switch. Look somewhere else for egg food. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, if yeah. you want to give a, a significant thank you to Lizard Wiz- Lizard Wizard Mage Mage, he's got to be going as well. Awesome. By, by Lizard I mean, Wizard. not awesome I'm, that he's I'm pretty leaving. sure yeah. that his overall contributions are right around $100. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, crazy. That, thank you so much, Lizard Wizard. That was dude. awesome. We love you. Yeah. Thank you for funding Keith shaking his bum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, that was... We'll make sure to get a video of that up after the fact. I'm sure that we'll totally get a video of it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sarcasm. Thanks, what? Bob. NP bro. Fist bump. <laughs> um, this is my last oh, one. This is shit. my last review. I, I punched uh, it. This is a this is a ninja uh, a ninja starter kit called Ninja Grappling Set Climbing Hook Foot Hand Claws Gear. I want it. <laughs> Three stars. True Shinobi be warned. While this kit looks great, do not be fooled. These products are subpar for any True Dark Warrior. Hook fashioned with subpar metal. Claws obviously not Shinobi made, and my mom found them and grounded me. <laughs> True Shinobi. You should have made at least one reference to like eating ramen or something. That's so good. I'm just reading reviews for Frozen on Redbox because Redbox is fucking horrible. What's Red? Wait. Oh, Redbox is the DVD thing. Yeah. Well, I, I shouldn't say Redbox Red itself is horrible. It's the people the, who the use reviews. it. Review. It's because Redbox is definitely like the super casual. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm reading. Uh, all right. All right. Um. Just to just to be clear, I wanted to play a little bit longer to try out my cool new swords, but yes, I will stop. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, you can't deal with this hecka rad game. <laughs> this game is hecka. It is pretty this rad. Game's, this game's mecha rad. I would oh. suggest maybe possibly an LP. Um, guys, donor donor only LP. It could be this. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it won't be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that he even suggested could that. Could be. Please could do be. not withdraw your donations. 
No, I'm saying, like, we're going to do whatever they want us to. Yeah. So, if you, you want, want us to... Glorp is pissed at you guys. Yeah. Glorp said, God damn it, finally. <laughs> Fuck you, Glorp. Yeah, Unmod Glorp. him. <laughs> He's questioning this game's radness. How many rads is this game? What is its radioactivity and then uh, its rad? This is enough rads to like is totally it, bum you out for a couple weeks, but basically it, you'll be fine. Is this like SWAT cats rad? This, Are they? Is this like a, ra a squadron of radicalness? Yeah, it's a whole. It's it's a it's a platoon. I'm gonna play a Sega Rally. Real quick. He's Kyle's gonna play Sega Rally real quick. I'm gonna play a game called Alcoholism. I know a lot of people that play that game. It's hard to win. <laughs> How you doing, Keith? I'm doing pretty good. Um, thinking about those Amazon reviews are really fun to do. Yeah. You're really good at them. I was laughing. So there's been another $6 contribution on Patreon. Awesome. And you need $6 now. So you just got one from Brett, uh, who donated 6 And so in $6, you're going to be at a uh, every weekday video. And you had questioned the validity of doing both uh, one-time donations and Patreon. You questioned the validity of doing Patreon. That's fair. But to be fair, if there wasn't Patreon, I'm sure you'd be at the same dollar amount through your one-time donations. Uh, I don't know. Some people might have donated yeah. specifically to get called out in the stream. And since you guys weren't doing the call-outs for the patrons, it might have influenced it. Um, I... I've, been, I've been doing Patreon call-outs, which, by the way, maybe now would be a good time to pause and do overall. Yeah. By the oh, way, I, if you if you donated to Patreon and you did, you're bummed that you didn't get a shout out, just uh, send send me a shoot me a tweet at, at something dumb and I'll t shout out the shit out of your I, shit. I forgot I had a secret, um, probably terrible game to play with Keith. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Ultimate Fighting Championship for the PlayStation One. So <laughs> we can get into this whenever we want. Yeah, mm -hmm. I stream did stream voted for Iggy's Wrecking Balls. That could be super short, depending on how actually terrible it is. I'm gonna. Uh, we're definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna do just because we're playing Saturn. I'm gonna do Sega Rally, which is right now. Game. But that's right. it's a very quick game. It's like yeah. three tracks. It's super short. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of water. Somebody's got a lot of water going on in the background of their of their Skype situation. Yeah, that. What is that? What's the water? What's that's that creepy. water? It like a water Sorry, there's a tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> You you just have like a really giant bird in a in a bird bath right next to you. Uh, <laughs> Pandora Pandoranin wants to know if these videos will eventually be uploaded to YouTube like the last stream. Yes. Yes. And there was something else that I saw, but I don't remember. Uh, Francescanato says he donated to to both, but I don't use Twitter, so I didn't ask for a shout out. I think we did actually mention Francescanato's uh, contribution earlier t in the stream. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I have this fancy, fancy list here in front of me that has the names of all of the Patreon contributors. Uh, and if we click quick, on their name, it'll show us how much they donated. Udna said that uh, he upped his donation to 30, and I checked, and I refreshed it. We're at 506. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah. So you're super rad. Yeah, absolutely. I did not think that we would get to that at all. No. I was, I, yeah, guys. I had, I, honestly, going into it, I had no desire to even try to pinpoint, like, what our goal was. Yeah. To even be like, hey, try to get I, to this, because you just figured, like. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I honestly was like, like, if I had to guess, I felt like somewhere between, like, 100 and 250. Yeah. I think yeah. you guys really underestimate how good you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Thank you. That's so sweet. Because. It's like I I think probably I think there are there are lots and lots of people doing what you guys let's, do on let's YouTube. Let's just say we are we are a life giving drink of fresh water mm -hmm. in a barren desert of mediocrity <laughs> at best. <laughs> mediocrity at best. Oh, mediocrity at best, not life giving at best. <laughs> I mean, consider what you're doing, and then consider that you're posting <laughs> it on something awful, like <laughs> the most like uptight oh. people. Who has Somebody that ever existed? Bethany. Somebody wants to see Bethany. She's snoring right now. I, I, we Bethany. could wake her up. We could. I would like to um, just throw oh. this out there for anyone who knows about Saturns. 
Um, I know like things like the Xbox will yeah. reset the date if you unplug it. Uh, my Saturn resets its date literally every time I turn it off. And I would like to know why. Is there some kind of internal battery that keeps the date that's dead? Or like, what's up with that? So if anyone knows, yeah. If I'd, any, I'd if any of those like big uh, Saturn fans from way back, <laughs> if you're a, if you're a big Saturn jerk off from way back, <laughs> um, hey guys, I'm back. Hey buddy, welcome back. Hey John. So my thinking is. Oh, could you I refresh will... the widget, please? Sorry. My thinking is that now would be a really good time to take a break from games and spend some quality time loving on your donators. So I've updated your lists right here and somebody can come sit in my seat so that you can see the lists because my eyes are starting to blur and i can't read them anymore um but if you click on each person's name it'll tell you exactly how much their monthly donation is and uh, uh i'm logged in i can do it from here this is right here the reports yeah yeah i have the, and i have the i'm raising report right here i don't have that one that one tells you how much everybody donated individually um and then you can add them up um does it have a total of and the what? widget? Uh, I thought that the widget had a total, the I'm raising. But for example, um, Lizard Wizard has donated like six times. So you can add up like... That guy's cool. What they've That's donated. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Because it's a lot. 20... Damn, you're up to 506 a month. Yeah. 506 a month and then the I'm raising thick has another four something? 470. Um, I mean, I know that from a standpoint of being a supporter of Run Button, um, and you know, being with Kyle, obviously, I kind of depend on his ability to earn money and also to not go insane because he's miserable. <laughs> so good luck with that one. <laughs> he kind of already exudes misery. So um, I'm right there. With I don't know. I know I'm really appreciative of you guys because it's always a really difficult balance, in my opinion, for gamers who do stuff like this to yeah. find a way to actually start taking themselves seriously. Um, and I think this is a really validating thing in a lot of ways. So I'm I'm really grateful to everyone. Yeah, it's impossible to state how grateful I am for. Yeah. This. Like it's like a super crazy thing that we are like six hours into this and we've met every single milestone but uh, uh, one. Uh, but it's the big one. It is the big one. Yeah. Um. By the way, know, the milestone my, that we reached mm, over 500 is a video every weekday. Yeah. That's so video every crazy. Weekday. Yeah, that is crazy. Um, so the only thing that I would say at this point is I definitely think that it would be worthwhile for you guys to take like five minutes and just go through these lists and do something silly or funny to recognize every single person that's donated something. I'll yeah, I'll do that. Well, Kyle, you play this game and I'll do that thing. Well, how are we sil sillily recognizing them? Uh, we're gonna. Why don't you tag team it, Kyle? Why don't you come sit in my seat and then you guys can do something funny. Three. I say that like it's gonna be like a fucking say, flip. You're switching your flip. Here's the idea. Wait, wait, yeah. Take all of the names of the not people. Like I'm <laughs> <laughs> Take all it's the not names like of the people who donated. Dead. Hold on. And say talking. really, really nice things about them. Yeah. Say nice things to these people that you Okay. Don't know. I'm gonna like, say. Hey, I'll, I'll give very personal compliments to all these people. Yes. Do it. Gaff. The gaff. The gaff. The gaff. Hold on. Um, I'm seeing. Kyle, do you want to sit here so you can see the other list and you guys can be in the middle? Because I need to get up. I need I'm to step not, away from my computer for I'm a little while. I'm not seeing how much money that they're doing. Okay. Where? Which list are you on? I'm looking at the Patreon list. Do you have to click on their name? Where are you seeing the gaff on the Patreon The gaff is at the very the top very first name. one. Under patrons? Yeah. I think maybe... Oh, okay. It, mine hadn't updated. Okay. So, yeah, when you click on it at the very top, it says this has supported you for current pledge $9. And then you just go back. Or you could open them in tabs. It doesn't matter. So, Vodka Flock of Flame has pledged $6. So... Go hard into paint. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step away from the computer because my brain's exploding. I need to take medicine. I'm, I'll just go over to your seat because I can't do it. I can't see from here. Yeah. I'm going to take a moment to point out how Look, I'm, cool in, I'm on the page. I don't know what his name is. Are we, oh, are we going individually so into... Go to, um, you're not logged in. Oh, I, okay. In. I thought that I was logged in. Oh, I was logged in to, on my laptop. This is not a laptop. And the other thing that we can do is Ah, uh, Nicole's going to wake up Bethany. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get you on the cam. Well, if she's actually if she's back there, it'll be easier to get her. Because up here is too close. I knew someone was going to say it. 
What's someone saying? No, it can't look down that far. <laughs> the call was like. <laughs> all right, we we, we got in front of the camera, and of course, someone had to say "ass" in all caps. Uh, we've got the gaff for nine bucks. The gaff, you're sweet, sweet human. Look at that dog. We got Vo oh, I just downloaded the HTML instead of opening a new tag tab. Um, vodka flock of flame for six bucks. You're super rad, and I hope that you're appreciated in life. Brett, <laughs> Brett, 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 what's his last name? Oh, Browse. Brett Browse, six dollars. Oh, I like one of the people. <laughs> Ron, Ron Buton. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, no, it's it's a joke on Ron Button. Um, uh, Brett, six dollars. I hope you are in good health for always. Ron, Ron Bhutan, six dollars. I hope you get that name fixed, dog. It's busted. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not coincidentally that guy's real name. If it uh, is, he's our spirit animal. Marcus Clason uh, or Clayson, ten dollars. You donated one dollar more than you even needed to. You are the most generous person I've ever met in my whole life. Except for Lizard Wizard. They're all the most generous person. Andrew, nine dollars. You've got a rad frog, and frogs are rad. He's, he's got a black belt frog. So you, you know what's hot. Ron, different, different Ron, not Ron Bhutan. Three dollars. I like your silhouette profile. I think I think that if I if it was filled in, you'd probably be a very handsome man. Spencer Gray, for three dollars, you probably drew your thing, and you're a very good artist if you drew that. And if you didn't, then you have good taste in people that draw. Lizard Wizard, uh, you are a king amongst men uh, and a god amongst kings. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Ian, Ro Ian Robbins, nine dollars. Love your ice cream. <laughs> Hayden, aka Cranberm, aka Hayden, nine dollars. Dude is the chillest dude, and also has has good taste in music. Oh, good girl. Nice hug. Got Liam. Liam, nine dollars. He was the guy that had a really nice paragraph about he and his girlfriend. And Where? that he's been watching you for a long time. Oh, Liam, you're the sweetest guy in the whole world. And Thank when you. I sent, when I sent him a message asking for his email, he said that he, he said more nice things. You have a very uh, unique gift of actually being able to express real feelings. Congratulations. <laughs> God, if, if congratulations, jerk off! You're super nice. <laughs> I, I wish I could feel for just one day. John, nine dollars. Yeah, John. <laughs> you you share a name with the chillest dude there is. Congratulations. Oh God, it's all here. What? It's all in emails. Yeah, it's yeah. all in emails. Emails. We can just read it in order. Um. Wow, this is so much. Caitlin, three dollars. Uh, Caitlin, you probably, I think, was Caitlin the person that said that they didn't have, like, money? They were like, I want to donate anyway because three dollars. I think so. It doesn't even matter. Just the, being able to donate at all is like crazy. And just why, like, obvi like obviously, just watching our stuff is enough. But the fact that people who, like, people want to donate. Is like the the coolest thing in the whole world. Yeah, Catherine, with a C, not a K. I hope that you appreciate all those blocks people had to climb. <laughs> Marcus Esters, I'm sorry people were mad about your game. I thought it was rad. Wait, are Dear you, Esters? I, I was going to say like you need to find the correct way to to address him. Dear Esters, sorry Dear everyone Esters. was mad about your game. <laughs> I thought it was cool, and uh, your uh, uh, your take on amnesia is probably pretty rad too. I haven't played it. We've got William for thirty dollars. Congratulations on your sweet job. Uh, you are insanely generous, 
and uh, no one on earth is uh, is like you. You're unique and special in all your own ways. Oh, what's up? The camera did the thing where it goes all the way to the left. Okay. Yep. Getting some <laughs> Keith feed right now. Oh, it only it, happens in XSplit. It is such a bad noise too. Stop making that noise. Matthew, nine dollars. I, I, you have been <laughs> commenting on the run button videos since uh, we have had comments allowed, uh, and and your Who? persistence, uh, uh, Matthew Sampson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, your persistence even through our our less good episodes uh, is <laughs> amazing. That that goes for anybody who's who's watched. They're looking at the back of your head. A lot of the Sonic <laughs> Let's Play, to be honest. Aaron, nine dollars. I bet you give the raddest high fives <laughs> in the whole world, and it's coming back. Don't even worry about all the other hand things that we got now, because it's coming back. Thank you for your help. Are you going to bed? Or is it... uh, Andrew, no, sorry, not Andrew. Adam, uh, Adam, you take. You got a pretty rad selfie on your thing. He's got big eyes, and he's like, he's like all startled. Like, it's pretty cool. Made me chuckle. The the camera will not go farther right. Taco Hero, love your food. I don't know what your stance on burritos. Technically, I think it's a superior product, but your nineteen dollars is is a gigantic and super generous and highly appreciated. Mm. Uh, and you're rad, and tacos are rad. True. This is true. Chris Mitchell. Twenty four dollars. Um, thanks to your generosity, you get a red shirt, and a couple other people. There's, I've mentioned a couple of the shirt shirt gentlemen. Um, shirt gentlemen, please. Shirt gentlemen, please. The other thing is, I can do in a few hours if you want. Is you could do like like trivia. Do trivia questions, and people have to donate at least twenty five cents to try and answer trivia questions. Do we have any trivia? Do we have? Can we play? It sounds like a lot of work. It does sound like a lot of work. Do you is we could? Do you have Buzz for PS2? Don't you know that I have that? When I met, when I said, do you have Buzz for PS2? I meant, can I? Can we play Buzz for PS2? Sure, we could play Buzz for PS2. Buzz is rad. I don't think we're going to be in any kind of question answering. No, I don't, that's the but... fun of it. Emery, twenty four dollars. Uh, you take your passions very seriously, uh, and diving is is a pretty cool thing to do. I could never do it. I'm afraid of the ocean. So good on you for your courage uh, about not getting stabbed in the foot by a lionfish and getting all sick. Is there a pillow in here? Um, yes. Barton, I, I, there's there's a pillow right there. Uh, Barton Mother Sill, one dollar. Your your picture is an, of an adorable bee, and I bet you're probably for real that bee. That's probably a for real picture. How? Uh, Super far. Super far from the end. Yeah. I think that's enough of a break. But I mean, uh, we've done that. actually we honestly we've done about half, so I could just we could just do the other half later. Okay. Yeah. Did you do the first half or the second? First half. The most recent half, but I know where I started from, so it's fine. Well, um, th- wait, is the, does it refresh from the top or from the bottom? Most recent we, we okay. appreciate all these people. Yeah. Um, well, I, I no, I said we appreciate them. Yeah. Whether or not we read your name when you hear it, we will read it and we will love you in your own special way. Gorse Bogdweller says they have lionfish and mass. I don't think so, but... I think that's a, that's mostly a tropical and subtropical fish. Well, but. no, that's the thing about lionfish, right? Wasn't that what we learned in Shark Tank? Is the lionfish is like all over the place now. Oh, really? Because it got like like moved. In in what? Like someone brought it over. It's it's on. I'm pretty sure it's on the east coast what of sh- the United what, States. What show did you learn this from? Shark Tank. The show about not, investing. Yeah. You learned about fish in a show called uh-huh. Shark Tank that isn't actually about fish. For a moment, it became the lionfish tank. No, it was. Uh, Were they selling like a, a, a spray? Like, get out of here, lionfish spray. 
Right. They what? They were they were trying to turn a, a fund of business about like selling lionfish meat and like eating lionfish. Like I'm so close. I eat a lot of meat. I'm like one really convincing food documentary away <laughs> from begrudgingly becoming a vegetarian. Nah. Like I never. can't. I can't even like. We're not ki- we're, like we have so many different types of meats that we're already doing. Is the lionfish that good? Oh, come on. Like, oh, you know what's well, really delicious? Think, Fucking lionfish. Let's start that up. I think his idea was like, if we get lionfish into a thing that people want to eat, it's gonna like, it's gonna get rid of all the lionfish because they're gonna get fished like way down because they're just, um, because they're just taking over or something. But it was oh, yeah, crazy. Friend, it was to like support that uh, uh, French Escanda. Canada says uh, there are lionfish in Florida. They're horrible creatures, and you're encouraged to kill them. Yeah, exactly. But the thing was, they were saying like they're super hard to get because they like hide in crevices or something. Yeah. So like you can only fish them by hand with spears. Wow. It was like, dude, like what kind of business is that? That yeah. is not. There's um, on on uh my parents' honeymoon, they went diving, and my dad got stung by a lionfish while they were diving. Uh, so they can't be that bad. He was stung by a lionfish? Yeah. yeah. In the foot. Thought it was a rock, and he was swimming around, and it got him right in the foot. They were snorkeling, actually. Hey, where are our Skype guests? Uh, What's up? I'm Harry. They're all here. They're just oh, listening hey. patiently. You guys are patient. Yeah, that was... Guys I'm talking in chat. People are saying some fun stuff. Wait, um, Bob, what's your chat name? Uh, I'm Kamek. Kamok, Kamek, whatever. Is it you pronounce it Kamek? It's yeah. Oh, so it's, is it like hammock? But yeah, thing? yeah. Oh man, what's no? It's about? cool. It's cool. I I don't care. However you say it. Well, now you're just Bob to us. Well, so, yeah. I mean, you certainly just... have no right to care by pronouncing it Diablo <laughs> or whatever. Listen, oh right. Di- oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, Diablo is the right. He says Diablo or something. Yeah, that's how I've said it since I was a kid. You're not getting me to change that. Yeah, and I always said Mario, and I'm not going to stop now. Did you say Mario? No, of course not. Okay. <laughs> Can, did ridiculous. you say Mario? That would be ridiculous. I would. I would fuck? stop this stream right now. <laughs> just, I would just, just start uh, unplugging stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just leaving. Um, Three, two, run, we're, by the way, we're at 537 dollars a month. I, Jesus Christ, yeah, 37. Yeah. 37. We could feasibly 30. get to the Sonic thing by yeah, the end of this. That's crazy. Like, I, I know that, like, the first quarter, which is what we're coming up on now, or we just passed, we finished the first 25% of this. Mm-hmm. Like, that's when the vast majority of the donations come in. Yeah. But we could still do. Like, yeah, it's, it's at the beginning and the tail end. So. Like, legitimately, the 666 for Sonic 06 is a joke milestone. Because it's just yeah. all sixes. Yeah, we d- we definitely didn't think we'd even come close to to that number. Yeah, I mean we'll we'll do it. Yeah, we'll it's, do it. It's a joke that we're yeah. gonna do. I said I had it up as finish, Sonic 06. Kyle was just like, let's just redo it. Yeah. Like, what are you doing to us, Kyle? Fuck. All right, let's. We, you gotta you gotta concentrate on this game. Is that a taxi? <laughs> are you driving a taxi? Is this Crazy Taxi? This is, I'm pretty sure this is, um, that is coming up, by the way. We are going to play Crazy Taxi. This is Sega. Oh, man, I can't wait for some Offspring. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Are we doing this that? This is a yep. Sega Rally Championship. It was one of the best-selling games on the Saturn, so it's incredibly cheap. Uh, it's also a pretty shallow game because it's only got, like, three tracks. It's got, like, four, but, like, one of them's, like, hidden and un- unlockable. You have to beat, like, the whole game. You know what we, we should have done? The first the racing Burger game King I... mini games that you get for... Oh, the... I don't have those. What? Uh, oh, my... They're, one they're of my like friends has them. Like, at all of them. Or something. Or yeah, less. I would love to get, um, get those. The um, first... If you don't count Road Rash for the Genesis... Um, what? But the first racing game I ever played was Sega GT 2002... 2002, 2002 was the first. It was the first racing game I ever played. What? Because it, it came for free in, with my Xbox. Well, it came out in 2001, but because it, it, they do the year previous. Number. Yeah, I know. That's still what? I don't know. In 2001, I was nine years old. Yeah. Did, what? And I had played a bunch of Road Rash, but that, I don't count that. Why do you not? Hey count guys. Because it's. I mean, it's a racing game, but What's it's up? really like a assault. Yo, John. John, do you have to miss... leave? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, okay. I miss virtual hide load. <laughs> <laughs> See. Uh, John, why couldn't you have been in the chat garnering support for the virtual highlight game? Everyone Dude, hated d- us for that. 
I was I, I was so inquisitive. I was so intrigued by it. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Virtual Highlight is a game and a half. <laughs> The game is the game is a game and a half. I, I took a note. I was like, oh, "What is on, this game on. called?" Yeah. Fuck. No, but like, no one said that it's a good game and a half. All right, we're we're done with this. We're but, done with it. Yeah. We're gonna play uh, Iggy's Wrecking Balls, Iggy's Dragon Balls. Yeah, I'm ready for the balls. Um, <laughs> we're all ready for the balls. Oh, I'm not. Did you hear no. that? It's it's really quiet, so it's hard to hear. But when you get a game over in this game, there's a guy that goes, "Game over, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> we're so we're officially at the point in the marathon where my ass starts to hurt from sitting. Well, here's what you do. What's up? Put your head in Kyle's lap. Okay, done. <laughs> Listen, anytime we're not recording, that's where it is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you always sound a little bit muffled? Yeah. <laughs> no, Kyle just has a higher fidelity voice than I do. No, I, I was kidding about that. Yeah. Um, no, but, but that is true. Kyle does have a higher fidelity voice, I think. Oh, he's got an HD voice? Yeah, he has HD voice. His, his so he's vocal got a, cord- it's a uh, super voice. audio CD, actually. <laughs> if y'all remember those. Maybe a little flack. Mm. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not that good. I'm an off. This mic is off. Man, you guys should get wireless lobs. With all this LP money. I know, we should. Oh, we totally should. We should do that. That's what the thing that we should do. What should we do? We should get wireless lav mics. Mm hmm. You can even get a mixer for, like, not that much. We have one. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah, we have a, we have a, a righteous mixer. We have. Oh, nice. We have a. Our mixer's, like, actually a $250 thing. We, we bought this one. We had a, a crappier one. We bought this one specifically for live streaming because it has a compressor in it. Like a shitty compressor, but it has one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of money worth of equipment. Yeah, we've definitely dumped some money in. Yeah. We got binders uh, full of women over here. I don't know why I just <laughs> thought of that. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. I, I mean, for this this uh, LP we're considering about doing, it's like uh, I'm looking at the cart and it's it's easily climbing up to like the the two hundred three hundreds. Just for like, I, I'm just getting a new hard drive to record all the damn footage on. Barton, uh, Barton Fink, I said that he was a P donated and he was a B, uh, and he probably was a B in real life. Uh, he said, uh, Spooky Attic. He said, My icon is a B because I love bees and I keep them in real life. That's awesome. Cool. I bet he has the uh, great, the best honey on his toast. B. Um. I'm getting some hate in the chat. YKKX says I suck at talking. Uh, I'm, I'd take some issue with that. You suck at talking because you're mumbling or because you're qu- too quiet? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, it's, not, it's not very constructive. you know. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at talking. How do I suck at talking? Maybe it just means that you're sucking in air as you talk. Let's let's be <laughs> fair, guys. <laughs> John, you're, you're a little, you're <sighs> a little slurry. You're a little mumbly. It is twelve forty at night. Yeah, I'm and it's part of your well. charm. No, I'm not drunk. I could be. Maybe I'll get. A, maybe I'll crack a beer. Maybe I'll, you know, do that. Ooh, get adventurous. Yeah, get a little, get a little wild. Treat yourself. <sighs> well, 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 they're talking about Metal Gear Four, so maybe I should start doing the Metal Gear Solid Four snake voice. Maybe people will like that. Uh, Neville says John I guess I'll is do literally more carrying run button right now. Uh, He's got conflicting. Otacon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is this voice? Meryl. What? <laughs> so um, says, man, that's such a great movie too. Barton Fink. Yeah, Barton Fink's a fucking great movie. How does everyone feel about Kiefer? I keep Grand trying Zeros. to watch that movie. But I Guys, did you play I Grand Zeroes yet? It. I have it rented from Redbox. I haven't gotten to play it yet. Um, God, Kiefer is amazing. I haven't, I haven't played it. What about, what about Barton Fink? Bob? I keep trying to download it to watch it because I keep hearing it's great, but I can't find it anywhere. It's really good. You should like rent it from iTunes or something, or Amazon. Okay, it's worth. If like you want to f- do quote unquote legal, <laughs> it, it's it's definitely worth like three dollars to watch. It's yeah, I've heard I've heard absolutely nothing. By the way, you guys, things. and that's um the brothers, right? That's uh yeah yeah cool. that's Certainly. the Coen brothers. Yeah, Coen. Yeah. That's one of my be- that's one of my favorite movies of theirs. That's up. There. I love um, Bloom on the battlefield. <laughs> That's one of my. That's one of my favorites. That and Fargo and uh, uh, oh, like Fargo. almost all their movies, basically. Um. Oh, what's the name of it? Oh shit! The Dark. one where um, 
Oh man, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Brothers, where art thou? I love that one, but oh, no, wait. one of the most recent one, one of the recent ones. Um, no Country for Old Men. It's uh, another fantastic one, but uh, no, Lou and Davis. No, Inside Lou and Davis was great. But, I haven't seen that yet, but I would really um, love to. YKKX is asking me to do a voice. I think I know which one he's talking about. So one that kind of sounds like this. Is this the one that YKKX is talking about? Um, wait, my, my headphones cut out uh, for a second. Did we decide sorry. on which movie it was, Bob? No. Um, I was trying to find Lady it. Lady Killers? No. Uh-oh, not going to be able to save. What are you trying to uh, determine about the Coen Brothers? Which movie, uh, which recent Coen Brothers movie? Oh, um, uh, the one with uh, the cowboy one. No Country mm-hmm. for Old Men? No, the one where they're... Um, oh, True like, Grit. The one with uh, their uh, personal trainers. <laughs> oh, Burn yeah, Burn After Reading. Burn After, Burn after Reading. That I think we just so named good. every Coen Brothers movie, though. Guys, hold everything. This is Iggy's Wrecking Ball. Patreon and I'm Raising are at the exact same dollar amount so no one do anything <laughs> <laughs> guys hold this stop it please don't whatever you do donate anything at all for the entire yeah. rest of the stream because this is perfect i i want to address something that's going on in chat right now we, i think saying any coen brothers movie is great is redundant because the coen brothers only make great movies um, people didn't opinion. like. The, I, I never saw, it, but people didn't care for the Lady Killers. I, I didn't see yeah, that I, either, but I, I can't imagine it would be bad. Yeah, I watched a little bit of it, but I couldn't make it through. So, uh, um, I actually didn't like Burn after reading the first time I saw it, um, and I've always wanted to rewatch it because I've heard so many good things about it. I'm sure that I was just in a weird mood or like or something, but uh, it's perfectly reasonable not to like. Honestly, the movie. Burn, at, Burn After Reading was probably one of the times I've laughed most in a movie theater. Really? To be yeah, honest. me too. Oh yeah. man! I don't even think and then the when, oh, I don't even want to get into spoiler territory, but you probably know the scene I'm talking about. Is it the scene with um, uh, the exercising scene? No, the um, the closet. What is the? I'm looking at the demo. What is this game? Um, I'm, I just see Wrecking Ball is spelled wrong. Wreck it, Ralph. It'll be. It's like, what is this? I'm confused. Speaking of burn after reading, or more speak- right. about a Brad Pitt. <laughs> there was this. Um, uh, are we I don't know if you guys saw this. It was an Italian. I'm not doing training. There's this Italian poster for Twelve Years a Slave, where it's just like Brad Pitt's head, basically, is, and is he has the on... top villain. All right. Yet he is, is barely that? in that movie. What is happening on the right screen? What, what is going on let's, there? Let's find out what all this is about. All right, let's see. This is, this is if you missed it, this is a game that I rented, like, every other week as a kid. And I have... Oh, it's by Acclaim. Interesting. What's Acclaim? They are terrible. Okay. I don't know. This looks pretty hot to me right now. Iguana Entertainment. There you go. Probably I, named themselves after this game. I honestly have no memory of how this game is played. I just remember renting it all the time, and it left no impression besides <gasps> that I loved it. I'm playing a Ziggy, doing it. All right. How do I? You, you press start to join in. I already did. Oh, I'm the I'm the tooth guy. Look at that. Look at this guy. Oh, Ooh, lots of unlockables. I have to say, this is profoundly unappealing right now. I do not want to play this at all, wreck, just because of how it looks. Deck. Kyle, no one asked you, though. Yeah, no one asked you. It's true. <laughs> okay. Everyone is misspelling Wrecking Balls in the chat. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ugh. What <laughs> is this? I don't uh, know. Oh, man, what was that? Oh, okay, got it. What the fuck? You press A to jump and B to, like, grappling hook with your tongue. Oh, weird. This is so weird. And you press Z to dash. Number one. Third place. Nice. Oh, okay. So you have to you have to analog. Yeah, you analog decide. the... Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Is it? It's a little interesting. It's a little it's slightly... <laughs> it's like... It's it's got I after can forty five see... after forty five minutes of virtual highlight anything's interesting. Um, don't don't knock the game that I'm, you spent. You know what? I enjoyed my time with virtual highlight and I actually want to keep playing it. Yeah, yeah. You know what this game looks like to me? It looks like um, 
what is that in Uniracers, where you just play the unicycle, it, the it, unmanned unicycle? It does kind of remind me of that, yeah. Um. Whoa. This is a game, apparently. <laughs> I'm being told this is a game. Lap complete. This is more disturbing, disturbing than Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal's pretty up there. Yeah. I got Twisted Metal Black and watched like the intro movie for one of the characters, and I decided that it was like too scary and I didn't want to play it. <laughs> and then I and then I played the original Twisted Metal and then decided that I did want to play Twisted Metal Black because it was <laughs> I used a to PS2 love version Twisted of Metal that. Black. I loved it, yeah. You can you yeah. can dash with a Z, by the way. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. God, I remember, what was it, Twisted Metal 3 that was also the Rob Zombie CD, if you flipped it over? What? Yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, that's I used to listen really to that weird. so much, I mean, and it was that weird. that cross-in makes total sense. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, going to say, that's really, it's really weird that, that happened please. at all, but it's not weird that it was Rob Zombie. Can I get some should, I, should I turn the gain up on my mic a little bit more? I'm going to try it. Whatever. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> No, they you, weren't. You've been asleep for, for like 25 minutes. For like 20 minutes. Nicole was basically talking in her sleep. Is what, what was happening. Nice. Loop de loop. I, I went you. my entire life thinking that it was loop de loop. Well, it kind of is. You know. If you're. Oh, roller coaster. You know, it's like. But you get loop, a dash, man. Like, like loop de loop. Like, hey, loop de loop. You loop the loop. He already. I, I already pointed the camera at you for a second. Yeah. Yeah. I keep thinking that mumbling is in the game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Literally overnight because you're sleeping at night. So this is like Sonic the Hedgehog. This is exactly... <laughs> this is exactly this like is, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, this is like a super... Oh, crap. I forgot to dash, so I've been doing, like, terribly. Yeah. Oh. I, I've reminded you twice. Okay. This is more of a game now. Uh, it's... Do you want it? Nope. No one took it. Oh, God. All of a sudden, I want to play Extreme G. What's Extreme G? I think... No. I was gonna say I think we have that. I don't think we have that. But yeah, Extreme G was like a futuristic motorcycle racing game. It was like unicycles, uh, but it was unmanned motorcycles. Typing of the Dead. Um, I don't <laughs> think so. Only because it's a PC game. Hey Bob. Yeah. I've got a question for you. Yeah. I mean, you must have played. Uh, Kyle just fell asleep in the middle of asking you a question. Lone yes, Survivor, I have, right? Lone Survivor. Oh, uh, actually, I played a little bit of it, and then oh, I did not finish it. Dude. I own it, and I've played a lot, not a lot, some of it. Yeah, if, uh, it might interest you to know that uh, the guy who made that... Um, originally made it as a sort of uh, his his original like demo was a uh, silent hill a remake of silent hill 2 in that engine yeah that doesn't surprise me at all because it's so clearly just silent yeah. hill in 2d yep. especially you can tell for the end boss it's it's basically the same exact fight as um pyramid head in silent hill 2 the first fight really yep the way that he runs away I, I really don't remember a lot from the end of Lone Survivor because I haven't like I finished it like when it came out and I haven't played a lot of it since then. But yeah, I heard it's on the PlayStation Three and PlayStation Four. Yeah, now? that's that's why it's in my mind again because it just came out and it was um, free through PlayStation Plus, so I got it and it's like yeah. awesome. Sasquatch says I just, Keith is a wrecking ball master. I must have some sort of crazy muscle memory going yeah. on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just I love the whole visual style of that game. It's like pixels the size of your fist, like. Like the whole yeah. thing is formatted like it's like you're playing it on a Game Boy Micro or something, but it's yeah. made for PC monitors and TVs. It looks so cool. It's funny because um, a buddy of mine is the developer, and we've been working on some something very similar to that. 
and we actually just figured out how to do more of like a, a pixel style with uh, realistic shaders, 3D shaders, where you basically just take the pixels and uh, you. I'm sorry, uh, hold on, Bob. What's up? Yeah, it's it's past midnight. Yeah, it's almost one o'clock. Hey, this is flying by. This is a much faster marathon than the last marathon. Sorry, what's up? Well, we that's what I think. We have all these games lined up and we have like guests and stuff. Like the the first 24-hour marathon, we literally had nothing planned basically. Yeah. I am sorry, Bob. What were you saying? Uh just um stupid shit about graphics and pixel art. I'm interested in hearing it. Tell me about it. Uh pixel shading. Yeah, basically we were messing around with this uh shading style that looked it looks pretty pretty great and now it's just a matter of figuring out what to do with it. Gotcha. And finding the time to do it. But basically, it's like you take a... Um, you don't just do... Because the way that Lone Survivor did it, it looks like they did it with just a um, a overlay, a shader overlay. Yeah. With a really low, uh, low res... Um, just a low resolution. So you can kind of tell that it's just like a, a faded color on top of it. But with this um, system, you could actually have a 3D lighting system. And then show uh, like layer the um, actual uh, shading on top of a bump map on that is on top of a, pix a piece of pixel art, which is we tested it out. It looks pretty sweet. <laughs> so we've been messing around with that. I for won't a while. pretend to have understood most of that, but oh, I'm sorry. Cool. Um, no, it's fine. Mm. Yeah, no, it's just, thing to note is um, trying to uh, do a little bit more than let's plays now. Gotcha. Might be one of the things that we're uh, trying to get ready. I'm not going to say too much, but uh, when you say hopefully, we, uh, we is in. Um, um, uh, I have a friend who's a developer, and he does this stuff in like his sleep. It's ridiculous. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, he's cool. busy working on uh, Google Glass apps now. Oh, wow. that's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah. Is that a thing that's going to catch on, you guys? I think so. It seems yeah, like a thing absolutely. that people are only mad about. <laughs> what? Yeah, with the glass holes thing. And, yeah. It's, That's it's the only thing you hear because you know, uh, of course, hate gets more um, attention than you know praise. The twenty percent is always the loudest. Yeah. Oh, so close. But, you know, who knows? Yeah, you were really close. This is a weird game, but this I, is a weird game. I can this see is, why you would like it. This is especially when I was eight. You know, like, or or I was probably younger than eight even, but um. Someone mentioned it in the chat, and they said that uh, Doritos Crash Course looks way more fun. Doritos Crash Course is pretty rad. It's pretty good. Yeah. Especially for free. This was costing me like seven bucks a weekend. I, was it that much? <laughs> Probably. Do y'all have a uh, Blast Corps? Fuck yeah, we have oh, Blast Corps. We gotta play... Corps, we... Corps, play that. Wait, did we play Blast Corps last marathon? A little bit, yeah. Okay. I'm Play more. Let's put up a poll... For uh, we've still got 268 people in here. Yeah, I love all you guys. Yeah. thank you so much for hanging out with us. Too bad about the 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 original Skype snafu where we lost 200 people. I just looked over the chat to be like, what's going on in here? And I just saw Glorp say, as does entrance Jew and entrance Jew and entrance Jew and entrance Jew. I don't know what that means, but I hope that's not super hateful. I don't know, guys. Yeah. I have sunk to a low. Well, not too low, but I have just prepared for myself some frozen dairy and gluten-free pancakes, and they were Ooh. wait dairy and gluten-free. Yeah, they're so actually is it just not like bad. circular wheat. <laughs> uh -oh. No, there's no wheat. I there's wheat gluten, would be gluten. Wheat, dude. Okay, so circular. I don't know what is what isn't dairy-free and gluten gluten-free pancakes. Probably like uh, rice or some sort of non-glutinous mm -hmm. cereal grain, why, such as sorghum or are you gluten free? Are you mm -hmm. lactose intolerant and allergic to gluten? I'm not allergic to gluten, but I am lactose intolerant, and that's what Trader Joe's sells. And they're not half bad if you that's put some uh, some uh, Vermont Grade A uh, medium amber on that's there. That's fair enough. I understand your pain because my girlfriend is a uh, uh, dairy intolerant, and you she basically just has <laughs> she basically just uh, has dairy all the time and just gets sick forever. <laughs> So, I understand what you're going through. Oh, because the fucking treasure goblin showed up and I had these asses on me. Yeah, dude. Well, I got feared into him and he got... What is that? Uh, I can't read it. Body Harvest. Oh, yeah. Let's play Body Harvest. Who's yelling no. in the background? I was like, uh oh God, Body Harvest. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's talking to a lady. But the uh, man 
have? What do we have? Kyle, all, we also have Tetrasphere. Being lactose intolerant isn't the, that, that bad, Sasquillage, because I just take uh, lactate pills. Can you, uh, can, can you make a poll? I'll make a poll. Yeah, K Gummy knows where it's at. Blast Core, Tetrasphere, Body Harvest. Yeah. I feel you. Now, the, the pitch oh, I got, no. I have Body Harvest here. It's a game I've never played. And uh, the pitch for oh, Body right. Harvest that I got from Phil Kohler was that it's the game that DMA Designs made before Grand Theft Auto 3, which I believe DMA Designs became Rockstar North after that. So they're the Grand Theft Auto guys. I just want to know that you can see, like, the Grand Theft Auto 3, like, the roots of it in Body Harvest. What was the last game after Body Harvest and Tetrasphere? Tetrasphere is one word. Oh. One um, S. I'm also going to put a vote in for Hexen if you have that game. Oh, Blast Corp. Hexen is like... Oh, Hexen is older than the HD version. There's but, an HD version of Hexen? Um, Hexen HD comes free with all Xbox 360s. Oh, you well, mean no? it's called Blank HD? It's a remake of... It's a, an HD remake of something? It's called That Thing HD? Uh-huh. Sick of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a vote. What's the? I want to vote for a uh, body harvest, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. It was a body harvest had a, a huge early lead, but it still does. Fifty percent. I guess we're doing body harvest no matter what. All right. Love so body. looks like body harvest. For body harvest, let's do it. This is this is a, a singular player game. I've got I lost uh Is that a... I moved around I lost my headphones. Oh sorry. It's okay. Is so Oh what happened? Oh, I go. went away for like a little bit and there are only sixty seven people in? Really? No. Oh one hundred and four now. Oh, seriously? Oh, oh maybe the stream happened. dipped out I or think, something. I think the stream borked. It's fine. Um that was weird. Yeah, it had, there were 200 and something. Yeah, like there were like 260, ago. 270. It was like, you know, I think when, Maybe it was being inaccurate before. Maybe. I don't think so, because at one point you guys had like 400, and then it like dipped oh, down. Oh, 260. Like yeah, yeah, I just refreshed it, and it says 260 again. Oh, oh the, okay. the game started up. It flickered on, and it's not oh. going. Shit. Yep, 264. There it is. Did you slam it in? I did. Apparently, this is the N64. You have to slam shit into it, which I don't... I don't think that's true. I think there's something loose in the N64 that's getting like jostled in place when I slam it. It's not like the cartridge connector. Everyone, yeah, everyone's saying that it's back to 264. Good, I thought everybody left. I was like, oh. I mean, 100 people was the high, the highlight of uh, last last year's Keith, marathon. Um, so, what's up? Do you have a? Uh, is this this laptop have a tab open where I'm logged in as run button? On Twitch? Um, no. Alright, let me see that. Here you go. Do you want to try playing this? Yeah, I'll play this. Station Omega. Earth Omega. I know I'm, I'm kind of... 2016. <laughs> Earth lies in ruins. <laughs> Over the past hundred years, a vast alien invasion has harvested mankind to the brink of extinction. High above the dead planet, the last survivors hatch a desperate plan to halt the invasion at key points in Earth's past. A prototype time travel vehicle is ready. Its crew, a team of genetically enhanced soldiers, is being prepared. But the time has run out. Have returned. The aliens have returned. The aliens have returned. So and silly. they're hungry. <laughs> this is basically GTA 3. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> Maybe that's the trick, is that like Rockstar sees this guy and like, you, you've really got something here. We just now need to take this game and make it not the fucking goofiest thing ever. <laughs> well, this is, what, game, what year did this game come out in? Like, 99? Earlier than Probably that? something like 99, 98. It would have to be. Like, how, like, okay, if you're 98 or 99 and you're a kid and you've got this rad in 64, is that goofy or is it kind of badass? Oh, Holy well, shit. sure. Time but like, soldiers going back in time, fucking aliens. But, Some rad shit. Hold on. Yeah. Everybody thinks GTA 3 is rad, though. Yeah, I mean, especially at the time. Yeah, the game's goofy. 
That game's a very goofy movie. No, I'm saying, like, this is cool if you're, like, a little kid. Look at this goofball. Did <laughs> <laughs> you see his super slow cock? He's yeah. got the slowest cock. I'm saying this This was probably cool if you were a little kid, but yeah. when GTA 3 came out, it was cool to everybody. Yeah. This is a 98 game. Is that a jetpack? It's something. I hope it is. It's something, man. So oh, what's boy. the story? I'm sorry. You're time travelers? Um, the Earth has been in ruins for a hundred years because of an alien invasion. They Wait, they in 2016 it's in 2016, been? so it's starting in 19, uh, 1916. Alien invasion. Destroyed Earth for a hundred uh, a hundred years of war on Earth. They're sending. They have a prototype time machine, and they're sending uh, enhanced warriors back in time to fight the alien invasion at key points in their history. The right here, um, I'm looking at Giant Bomb. Uh, the game was developed by DMA Design, now known as Rockstar North, and due to that, it has many similarities with the Grand Theft Auto games, as the player uses a variety of weapons and vehicles to get through the game. The game's development actually precedes GTA 3, and gives birth to many of the concepts that would be used for the first 3D GTA game. Like While prostitutes. <laughs> well, fuck, like fucking prostitutes in your car to get your health back. While Nintendo was originally going to publish the game in America, they later backed out with Midway replacing them as the publisher. This is... You could have shot the friggin' monster like once or twice and have it explode into a pile of giblets. Why didn't you just do that in the in the first place? Oh my god, the alien sees the human blood wow. glint in his eye. That's amazing. I just want to float this out there, by the way. Um, another possibility for uh, people to <gasps> decide the patron-only po- uh, L- Let's Play. Mm-hmm. Lone Survivor? And then maybe they could dictate what manner we play the games. We kill all the enemies to avoid them all. What do we do? I don't know what we do. I don't avoid both. them all it's because that's really hard. I'm it's up do it. to you for the first time. This Ugh. is quite an introduction. This is cinematic at best. This this would have been the most cinematic thing you'd ever seen yeah. in 1998 on the N64. Like that thing where he dips his claw in the blood and looks up to it and it's yeah. dripping down. And then an eye so shows I am playing this game, by the with way, a lens flare. See. Wait, what? Look it. It's my name already. That's funny. That's really weird. Look, the second one down. That's my name. Oh, my ah! God. <laughs> Should I delete one of these? Delete oh, the, all of it. Oh, this one's already empty. Delete all of it. Who gives a shit? No, this is my game. Fuck that. I, I bought this used. This isn't like oh, someone okay. I else's this game. Was, I thought this was uh, one of the ones that was just here. Oh, you know what? You what? shouldn't have done that. We should have just, like started the game, played it a little while, and then backed out and then jumped into one that was, like, way farther in the game. You're right. That was a bad move that you yeah, did. That was really stupid. Just, re- oh, man. So sensitive. Oh, not Keith. All right, fine. Keithy. Keithy. <laughs> I press start to, to finish. Easy and hero, huh? I'm just going to do easy. That's what everyone wants it's, to see, hey, me retrying the same sections over and over in, in this game. Yeah, exactly. It, it defaulted to easy, so I okay. think, I think it, it wanted you to pick that. Yeah. Listen, Kyle, I ain't, I ain't no fucking hero. You're being very loud, by the way. People were saying that I was too quiet, so I was speaking up. I can just raise you. Mission d- directive. Let's see if we can find out what's been happening here. Try the village ahead. Check your map to All fix right. your position. You're, you're louder now. Okay. You should re-enter Alpha Command for important instructions on how to operate your equipment. Oh, okay, see, because I Good saw, luck. like, the space thing and space station. I assumed it was all in the space station. Look at station. the running animation, even. Kind of looks... You, can you tap A? Can you tap the A button to run fast? <sighs> Look at this, babe. That would have yeah. made my day. You're already running pretty fast, though. Warning. I'm detecting a huge energy surge nearby. This could be our first contact with the enemy. Get ready. Oh, I can't move and shoot. What are you shooting? Alex, that that's pretty cool. Huh. Oh. This is a cool game. This is alright. Oh, inverted controls. Of course. Z is shoot, which is really weird for me. And then the inversion is also not doing me any favors. No jump button. Thank God we hate them. Yeah, fuck those guys. No new info. For you. Okay, so I can press warning. Detecting a huge energy surge nearby. This could be... No, I did that already. Oh my God, this game is about memory now. <gasps> I 
just realized. What's up? We committed a blank edge one. We did, yeah. Oh shit. Are you mad about that? I just feel like that's gonna be one that's really hard to do when we're tired. We didn't commit for today. We committed for to, to doing no, the let's we did. play. We did. What do you mean? We committed to doing Digimon World during the let's play. When? During the marathon? Yeah, sorry, during the marathon. See, I'm already too tired. He's already too tired. I don't know. I don't know what am, what is. I don't know what am I. 